Come on, Allie. I'm a professional. Everything's gonna be okay. But that girl, she's trouble. Talking the low budget supernatural demonic mystery movie, The Pining, directed by Eduardo Castrillo. And this one stars Tom Sizemore, uh, Miguel um, Nulles Jr., and uh, Natalie uh, Gibson, who is a apparently quite famous Instagram personality. I'm really not into the Instagram, so it's completely unknown to me. And uh, is a strange kind of low budget supernatural story involving um, kind of demonic deals, zombies, murders, weird kind of goings on. So let's kind of give you a rough idea of the plot here. So I guess the, the it's an ensemble picture. There's many different characters here rather than one protagonist, so to speak. But basically, the, the, the crux of the story is it's there's a kind of some type of church support group led by uh, Tom Sizemore's priest, and um, they m members of this kind of of this group seem to be getting killed in various kind of like strange ways, and it primarily focuses on one of the members who is this guy in a wheelchair who happens to be a photographer, and um, he uh, he basically is the kind of the, I guess the main character, although it does kind of spend a lot of time with other characters. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's kind of that there's supernatural uh, forces at work here without trying to sort of give away anything that may involve kind of uh, demonic deals, deals with the devil, that sort of thing. Um, well, that's kind of as far as I'm going to go with the story because I'm going to be honest with you, the story of this f movie is all over the place and um, we'll come on to it in my negatives. But I want to talk about some of the positives first of all. Now, speaking of the story... There is some good ideas at play here. This kind of like uh, kind of unraveling of the mystery and you know the idea behind it. I feel there is a germ of a great idea in this story. So um, you know, kudos to the the idea here. The execution we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but nonetheless, there there's some, there are some, there is a good idea here um, in regards to the, kind of the story. Um, some of the kind of the um, the way this story is told, I feel, is, is very ambitious in regard to trying to tell it in a kind of a non-linear uh, kind of way, uh, kind of like a almost Tarantino-esque in the way that it kind of uh, splits between sort of flashbacks and kind of like more you know the modern sort of timeline. Does it work? We'll come on to it. Um, what else can I say? There's, there's there's some interesting and kind of fairly inventive kind of deaths, I suppose, to a certain degree. And uh, yes, I mean, I'm a big, I used to be a big fan of uh, Miguel Nunes Jr. from Tour of Duty, so it's kind of nice to see uh, the TV show Tour of Duty. So it's kind of nice to see um, him here. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of struggling, if you can't tell, to try and talk about some stuff I feel worked in this movie. I guess some of the, um, the, the, sort of the ideas are quite fun. Oh, but let's just cut to the chase. What a jumbled movie. Um, the storyline is just all over the place. It really doesn't make sense. The, the idea here, I feel, is solid. But the problem here with this movie is the there's just not skillful enough writers or directors on, on, the, on this movie to make sense of it, unfortunately. So it just comes across as an absolutely convoluted mess of a film. The... This, the, the idea of having these kind of non-linear timelines, if handled by a skillful director, can work. But even then, you know, you've got to be pretty good to make, I think, that, that style of storytelling work. For this kind of low budget, I just don't think it... It's, it's just, it just becomes massively convoluted and confusing. And you feel like you're watching scenes over and over again. It, it does have an element of kind of repeating itself. Um, the acting is uh, very mixed. Um, I feel cast-wise, probably the biggest draw here will be Natalie Gibson, purely for people who are obviously Instagram followers of hers. But 
acting is not her forte, I will say. I mean, I don't know how much experience she's had, so, you know, this might be her first foray into acting, but, you know, it, it, it isn't the best, if we're being honest. Um, you know, if that's a career that she wants to do, then, you know, maybe acting lessons from this point on. Um, there seems plot elements here that seem completely super... When you wrote, watch the movie, and you kind of know um, know what the kind of the score is, so to speak. Know the antagonist and what the uh, the idea here. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to the motivations of the person behind it. Is the best way to describe it. And there's people. Um, we have two priests. We've got Tom Sizemore's uh, kind of priest who runs the group, and then we got uh, Miguel Nunez Junior's kind of priest who's in the prison and I just don't I just don't understand the relevance of those scenes because it just seems to have nothing to do with the main storyline um it's just a bizarre mess of a movie it's so cheap um I mean there's just a random zombie uh bit in the beginning and it doesn't make sense I mean like like um the, the, I'll kind of spoil this bit for you I just don't want to I just want to demonstrate it but this is right at the beginning of the film so we, we have um, one of these characters that were uh, kind of in this church thing. Uh, and he's, he's basically apparently died of leukemia three months ago, as we're told in some exposition. But he's living with his brother in this apartment. And the brother's not questioning why that is. It doesn't seem to, you know, and he just, had, he just turned into a zombie for no, no real reason. Um, it's just... You know, ideas thrown at the wall and, and seeing kind of what sticks. It's just all over the place. I mean, it's just um, a weird, bizarre mishmash of ideas with no no kind of through narrative that makes any type of sense. Uh, the acting is, is, by the most part, lots of kind of like uh, very kind of um, amateur actors. And this, 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 this horrible no chemistry uh, love story between the, the photographer and the um, and this model played by Natalie Gibson it's just like it's it rings so false never have I seen a more forced uh, love story in on film I don't think so yeah it's it's kind of like I said there, there are some ideas that I think work and there are a little bit of kind of fun effects and we have this kind of demonic sort of entity show up but it kind of looks a little lame if, we, if we're being completely honest but, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a hard one to, to really kind of praise too much because it's just, there just doesn't seem to be any, like, no one seems to know what they're doing in this film. So I want to give this one a 3 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>